Almost got it. Almost got it. Hey y'all, welcome back. Jeremy from truthaboutguns.com here. I am out in Moab, Utah at Cliffhanger Jeep Rentals for a Wheeler Tools event. They're launching a bunch of brand new tools for guns, of course, and some other things as well. I'm gonna check out the new tools. We're gonna build guns and we're gonna get in some Jeeps and do a little bit of off-roading in Moab where we're gonna go shoot these guns that we build. Um, this is probably the craziest media event that I've been to. That's just freaking awesome. Uh, we're gonna go drive out, do some rock crawling, and check out this layout they set up for all the tools. Dude, how cool is that? Definitely hope we get to put this over some rocks. That is intense. And over there, they're setting out a bunch of gun parts where obviously we're gonna build some ARs. I think we're gonna build some polymer 80 pistols as well with all the new Wheeler stuff. all these wheeler tools to put together the arrow lower and this is a particularly easy lower to assemble there's a set screw for the bolt catch there which is so much easier than trying to drive the pin through it and it uh, keeps you from scratching your lower too of course and then over on the other side for the takedown pin for the spring and detent in there there's a teeny little set screw in the back um, and, and that's uh, you know that's not the hardest part but it makes it easier to put the stock on with the castle nut and the plate and everything when that spring is already captive in there. So good looking lower, easy to assemble lower, and all the tools, I mean, they work like they're supposed to. Next up, we're gonna do the upper. This is our Wheeler upper receiver rod, and it's got a unique feature that actually locks the bolt lugs into the upper receiver rod, as you can see here. Okay. Yeah, rotates it in. We're gonna do a slide it on and then lock it. As you can see, it's locked in there. All right, uppers together. AR is functional. All right, and here's the cool new thing from Wheeler. These are preset torque wrenches. So it pops at whatever torque it says on here. This is great for doing all sorts of stuff, optics and everything else. I'm about to mount this Crimson Trace optic using these preset torque wrenches. I right, check that out. There's your Wheeler T-handle. Got a little socket on the end, 45 inch pounds preset. So I'm gonna put it on my nut here and just click. I know it's at 45. Nice, no over tightening, no under tightening, ready to frickin' rip it. All right, next up we're gonna assemble a polymer 80 gun, but this one is not actually an 80%. It is a serialized finished firearm, but it still comes as a kit so you can assemble everything yourself, which is kind of fun. It's called the AFT, and all of this stuff is from polymer 80 or P80, including that really cool looking slide right there. So. Yeah, I'm gonna grab these Wheeler tools and dive into it. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's 
P80 AFT is done. Out on the trails in Moab, doing a little rock crawling. Look at this. It's insane. JJ, I missed you. <laughs> That's nine dolls. Follow her on Instagram. She's cutie pie. That's what the kicks. Other Jeremy. Woo! Hey, how's it Follow him on Instagram. Yes. Oh yeah, in the Can-Am. Whoops. Look at that, six door Wrangler. Which part? Oh, yeah. The super steep one? Yeah. Nice. Well, the worst case is that you flip over and you land upside down on that big puddle, so well, that's not I'm that bad. I'm on, like, already ready. Yeah. Like, you got your oh shit handles. Part, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I only ripped off one part on it, so. It's not bad. Say hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. My friends, hood rat shit. We're out with yeah. the Polymer 80 AFT. Gonna run her up a little bit steel and see how she I does. Look at KJ. That is smooth. I'm really impressed. Here.
cliffhanger has a uh, location in Hawaii. So yeah. Trying to do a Hawaii. Your head out the window. Yeah, I you're good. Go a little to the right. Right. Little right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't. Go, go. Oh my yeah, god. Go. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Shit. Well, to, the, to the right was good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> got stuck on the back swing arms. And it was oh, just really? like, bah, bah, bah. Yeah. He's a maniac. Maniac on the floor. cooler yeah all your cans are behind you yeah, decisions were made <laughs> mistakes were made hey, Ray. hey don't admit any mistakes Ray. no 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 yeah. Yeah. Ray. Yeah. this car is defective once things were in motion it was hard to stop them <laughs> they told me to go slow which is a huge problem he's a, he's i feel like i should be right filming it like this no <laughs> my, my neck is tired now yeah. i'm just gonna so we're gonna try to do this in a Jeep that's behind you. So oh, they're gonna winch me out from the top. 
Well, I don't know, but our Jeep's back there. We're going to try to go. Oh, my gosh. So you're getting winched out from Brett. <laughs> yeah. They didn't hear that on the camera, right? Probably. No. <laughs> I'm canceled. Just beep. Just beep it out. You'll be fine. <laughs> You? Yeah. No, this morning the targets, uh -huh. and then okay. the gun, okay. the, and then now this. I don't think anyone can blame you for this. <laughs> this is solidly. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you weren't driving. <laughs> no. like, I'm uninsured. As soon as we crashed, we switched. Yeah. I was like, you got the card. You got the license. Mine's expired. <laughs> oh, they got the winch out. All right, guys, say bye. What's going on, buddy? You got helmet hair. <laughs> We're uh, pulling, I think, Jeremy up Hell's Revenge. Hopefully he has a soft shackle. We're gonna hook him up and try to pull him up here. I feel like, I hope this isn't my fault. <laughs> I didn't want to start a trend of doing dumb stuff, but. I always want to say everyone should do it. Okay, you said everyone should do it. I made it, a few of us made it already, and now we got a big bottleneck. Look how many Jeeps are at the bottom down there. Are you sending it? Uh, I'm going to wait for her. Okay, go ahead and start it. Go ahead and start it. Sorry, Jim. That's it, Jeremy. Way to go. Thank you. We'll be out of here right in a minute, sir. One, two. Turn driver. Three. I'm trying to get out of the way of this. There we go. Not so hard. Now go straight. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. Straighten the wheel. What? Straighten the wheel. Cut driver, yep. Driver! Driver! Almost got it. Almost got it. Hold on. What's up guys? You guys are their saviors.
True, but barely. So, as I am wont to do, I completely forgot to end that video with some sort of a sign-off that made sense, of course. Uh, did crash, and then everything just went haywire. Had a great time. Wheeler Tools, the new fat sticks. They are torque limiting drivers that you probably saw in the video. Uh, super handy and at a really good price point too compared to some of the similar things on the market. So that's why we were there to check out the new Wheeler stuff, use all their old stuff, use those new fat sticks and they were great. Cliffhanger Jeep Rental did an awesome job. They were super friendly, letting Wheeler and Caldwell and Aero and Ballistic Precision and VG6 and Polymer 80 and all the writers and YouTubers and stuff take over their shop and of course rent the Jeeps and provide us some guidance on the trails. Maybe not enough guidance for some of us, meaning me, um, but it went pretty well and those guys were super nice and awesome and Cliffhanger Jeep apparently has locations um, not just in Moab, but there's one in Hawaii and there's one in, was it Colorado? Somewhere else, I've got a few spots and again, awesome. And all the other companies that helped put on that event, uh, especially the AOB brands like Caldwell, Wheeler, Crimson Trace, provided the products for that and helped foot the bill to get some of the writers out there to check out the product and get hands on it. We're, we're great. That uh, 1 to 6X optic from Crimson Trace, their hardline series, the glass really surprised me. I put that on an AR and I was hitting steel, a silhouette at a thousand yards with that. The glass was good enough. It's only a 6X zoom, so you don't really stress the glass per se, but it was nice and clear. Had a BDC reticle that I had to put up on the trees because it's not made for that. But the consistency of that ballistic advantage barrel and that arrow gun that we built right from the ground up was shocking at a thousand yards. All of my misses were within like six inches of the target and all the odd misses were on the target. Uh, that Polymer 80 gun ran really, really well. I was very impressed uh, with the, the grip, the grip angle, it shot naturally, the trigger was good. Uh, it's a lot of fun to build your own, which is AFT, which is uh, assemble for thyself. So that's it, y'all. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe, especially over on Rumble. And we'll see you out here, maybe out on some cool adventure next time.